so welcome back today our topic is missing rainfall data okay we have a question there are five stations a b c d e and we have storm precipitation values 9.7 8.3 c value is missing that is the missing rainfall data and we have to find that out okay that is our question 11.7 8.0 and these storm precipitation values are denoted by capital P and there are another set of values annual precipitation data in centimeters we have all five values and this annual precipitation value is denoted by capital letter N okay so I think we can start the problem so to find the missing rainfall data we had two methods first method is Arithmetic mean method. Arithmetic mean method and second one normal ratio method. Okay. There are two methods. You have to decide on which method you have adopt you are adopting. Okay. So to decide on the method you are adopting to find the missing rainfall data. PC, you should consider these n values. Okay, and this annual rainfall data of missing rainfall rain gauge is denoted by generally denoted by NX. And if uh, listen carefully, this is the main point. If all the other annual rainfall data, this one, four, one, two, three, four values any of these values if exceeding 10 percentage of nx you have to adopt second method or else you can adopt arithmetic mean method so arithmetic mean method is just taking the average of 9.7 plus 8.3 plus 11.7 plus 8 divided by 4 1 2 3 4 that's just arithmetic mean method that is if all the other values are not exceeded than 10 percentage of nx value okay if these values are exceeding 10 percentage more than 93.5 you have to take normal ratio of them okay i think you get it okay so we can analyze it now you can check whether if it is exceeding 10 percentage so value of 10 percentage of nx so nx is 93.5 that is 93.5 into okay obviously 9.35 so in order to adopt arithmetic mean method all the other values should be in range between 93.5 minus 9.35 to 93.5 plus 9.35 okay either 10 percentage less or 10 percentage more okay than nx value nx value okay so 84.15 to 102.85 so if all the other n values are in this range you can adopt first method okay if any of these values n values are exceeding out of this range you have to take second method normal ratio method okay it's as simple as that so obviously there are 1, 2, 3 values already exceeding or greater than 102 that is the upper limit 102.85 so obviously we are taking normal ratio method okay because there were 3 values that was exceeding more than 10 percentage of nx value okay so we are starting or we are decided that we will be using normal ratio method 
for our calculation. Okay. So the normal ratio method calculation equation is Px, Px is this value that is equal to 1 by n sigma nx by ni into pi where i is equal to 1 to n okay that is the equation we are elaborating it for the sake of our problem px is equal to 1 by n sigma i so 1 by n we will take nx outside okay p1 by n1 p1 is 9.7 9.7 by n1 is 100.3 plus p2 by n2 8.3 by 109.5 plus 11.7 by 125.7 plus 8.0 by 117.5 okay so nx is you know what is nx 93.5 divided by n is 5 Okay, so you get the answer as 7.8 centimeters of rainfall or precipitation. So, 7.8 is the answer, is PC. Okay. So we will round it up. There were there was four values and five rain gauges. One value was missing. The precipitation value from the C rain gauge was missing. So we had two methods, arithmetic method and normal ratio method. We checked whether the other values, annual values, were exceeding more than 10% or less than 10% of Nx value. And if it was exceeding, we will be using normal ratio method. If it was not, we will be taking arithmetic mean method. As three values were exceeding that value, that range was 82.5 to 102.5 around. So these three values were exceeding. So we chose normal ratio method. And by substituting in this equation, we got Px as 7.8 as our value okay so i hope you understand